Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. This is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are not made for or intended for children. So with that out of the way, we are on to the pages I've coloured in the month of August 2020. I can't believe we're in September, it's mad, it's been going so fast. Even in lockdown. I think I've got about 12 pictures this month. Some patterns, some not. <laughs> Do apologize anyway so let's get started so the first one is from jade summer stained glass patterns i i like these sorts of books they're really pretty and i've literally just done the first one because i do these pattern books pretty much in order and i did the first one with sharpies i really like my sharpies so yeah so that was just done with various sharpies i really enjoyed doing that it's very it's a really nice book to to color in very nice and simple so I'll be definitely doing more of that sort of picture. Then I did one in uh, this book, Sally Berry Flower Mandalas. I saw this on uh, the Bibliophile Colorists channel. He was colouring in it. So I thought, oh, I like the look of that. It looks kind of nice and simple. I want to have a go. So I've done the first, again, because it's a mandala book, done the first one. I, I just like to, I don't do the book belongs to. I might want to get finish the book, so. Generally I do them in order, I, although if I'm not in the mood to do the first one I will pick a random one. And again, this was done with Sharpies as well. Yeah, so this was done with Sharpies, I had a bit of a Sharpie month. Well, I've done a couple with Sharpies. And yeah, I really like that. Bright colours, nice and simple patterns, so when I'm not in the mood for anything difficult, that's what I'm going to do. Next is the, one of the ones we did on camera, which was Whimsy Girl Through the Decades, and we did Flapper Franny, and I love this picture. I haven't put it on the Hannah Lynn colouring page, but I will. I might do that after this video. I really love that. So that was done with Artiza Everblend, Touch New Skin Tones. Actually, no, I think it was all done with Touch New. I'm not sure. And, of course, Glitter Gels. So mostly Link Shine, but a few other different ones as well. I wanted a really Art Deco look with the black and the gold. And I really love this page. So that's the third one. That one took quite a while to do, because you can imagine doing the black and the gold and then the, the bits of ticker tape in the background took absolutely ages. But I did enjoy it. And then I did one from uh, 100 Swirls by Jade Summer. Again, this is another nice pattern book. I just grab when I want something simple to do and I did this one this was done using Crayola Super Tips and literally I just got a green and I did all the green first then I did all the red then I did all the yellow and then I did all the blue and I just did it like that and I thought, I'm just gonna do it like that and see how it turns out and it, I, I quite like it it's quite mad so again yeah this is a, a, one of the books I work in order I'm just I'm just doing them in order so it's that page next they're the ones I'm least keen on they're the ones I'm likely to skip but I'm trying that's why I'm doing them in order the next one is a Selena Fennec. I haven't done Selena Fennec for ages and I did one in Fedorables, a sweet and simple colouring book. And I did, if I can find it, a little witch on the broomstick. Uh, this was done uh, with um, pencils were Faber Castell Classics and acrylic background can't remember what I did the moon with. I think it was a pencil, but it might not have been. It might have been a pen. Cream. It's a very cream colour. Anyway, and ac acrylic for the stars. And I did different colour stars, different sizes. So, But that one was hanging around for ages because I'd done the acrylic background and I hadn't bothered doing the rest of it. And I knew it wouldn't take long. And then I did all the this part and the moon. And then... It took me ages to get on and do the acrylic stars, but I did it and I really like the way it turns out. It's just something a bit different. It's really pretty. I love Selena Fennec. I love her books. I did uh, one from 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cove. Again, this is just a pattern book, nice and simple. First one in the book, because again, I try and do them in order so I don't skip any in the patterns, because, you know, they're just patterns. 
and I just did this one. I haven't done a background. I've literally, I'm just taking the bits of paper out now. I finished. And this one, I'd say this was done with the tie markers. The yeah, Ateez tie markers. I quite like that. It's not completely light. It's got different colours in it. I quite like the way it turned out. Another pattern. There's lots of patterns. This one is... Uh, Adult Colour Book Mandalas and Patterns by Sarah Jane Carter and again I only did the first one and this was done with glitter gel pens because why not? I've got a lot of little bits of glitter gel pen and I'm trying to use it up. I do let Jennifer use the ones that are nearly empty as well because she leaves the tops off and it doesn't really matter if she leaves the top off of one that's nearly empty um, but yeah that was just done with glitter gel pens. I enjoyed that, didn't take that long to be honest. Then we're on to Ladies of Nature, Elena Lazareva, which we did on camera. Of course, I didn't show you the full background, which I have now done. And as you can see, it's a nice dark green background. And we did those work with the Prisma colours. And it looks quite nice. And next time I do one in this book, I might try and do the markers. Sorry, Jennifer's chattering to herself. But uh, so that's that one. Short video this month because I haven't done as much. I did one in um, Fantasy Cats Special by Colour in Heaven. Cats normally aren't my thing, but I did one anyway because why not? And I did this fella. This was the sort of uh, the colour page of the month for the challenge. I used Castle Arts on this and gel pens some sakura and some link shine um, i'm not going to tell you what i think of the castle arts because you've got first impressions coming up on that next week but that's what i used on that one and next one and then there's two more is fairies and friends special color in heaven this one is issue 38 so this came out quite a while ago i don't know i don't actually know when i've, I've had it for ages and i hadn't colored in it so I did the, if I can find the page, I did the Oak Fairy and this one as you know if you've been watching the video on the Monarchs was done entirely with the Monarch pencils. I did not use any of the pencils from any other set. I did use a bit of Cobra by accident on those um, and then I stopped when I realised but generally it's all on those two. It's all Monarchs, the greens, the skin tone is all from the Monarch set as well so you can use it as skin tone. Like I said the only colour that's not really in there is a red but that it doesn't really matter it all looks fine. There we go that's that one. Two more. I did another one in this book I've just got to have a drink. I love this book by a Camellia Angel Cover of the Sun and Moon Bandala colouring book. I just love this book. This is the one I did when I was quizzing last week. So they're all white pages, but I did this lovely bright orange and red and gold mandala with a bit of blue and silver in it. And I thought it needs a background. So I just got one of the black glitter pens and I did the whole thing. And black glitter is what I actually use the least of. So I've usually got three or four of those hanging around. It's not something I would do every time, it's just every now and again I think something needs a bit, bit more to set it off and I think that looks quite nice. And the very last one I finished uh, in August was from, I think this was the very first Jade Summer book I ever bought and I certainly think it's one of the very first colouring books I bought because it's Ancient Egypt and I love everything to do with Ancient Egypt. I have got one other Egypt colouring book I've coloured in. And I was afraid of colouring this one because A, the amount of yellow, and B, I didn't want to ruin it. But I did this one of Anubis. And I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. The, the sand colour on the back is absolutely stunning. And I used Limache Real Water Brush, uh, Watercolour Brush Pens, the dual ended ones. You have you saw them in the haul. Or you, yeah, you'll, you'll have seen them in the haul, um, but uh, I haven't done a first impressions yet. I am filming that 
it hasn't been up, it's almost filmed. I've just got to finish colouring the picture in so I can just show the end of it. Um, but obviously you've seen this one so you know how they look but uh, I'm going to show you on camera as well. But those are all the pictures I coloured in the month of August. I'm actually really pleased with the ones I coloured. I really, really enjoyed them. I'm very pleased with the ones I've done. And... Um, I am looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be colouring in September. I have got to start, really start colouring the books I haven't coloured in rather than the ones I have because my unused colouring bookshelf is full. I cannot get another book on there. So I've got a few whips to finish off and a few books that I wanted to colour in last month that I didn't that I'm going to colour in this month. Um, I think there's only two whips really, the rest are for videos that I have to do this month and then uh, yeah I mean it's not going to be long before I'm starting on some of the others so I can't wait to get started on some new books that I've got. Um, and some old books that have been up there for a while. There's some more that I've had for quite a while I haven't coloured in. So I am going to have a good go at those. So I hope you've enjoyed the, this video. I really, really hope you like the pictures this month. Let me know which one your favourite is down below. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And of course... I'm blanking now, it's getting late. Uh, share this with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, I do appreciate it. And if you are a subscriber, why not hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I put up a video. And I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye guys.